My son Alexander and I are going to demonstrate some mitt work. I'm sure you've done this before. I'd like first to caution you to, if you're in the habit, get out of the habit of having your students line up and punch the target one at a time. They could get so many more reps in if they did that for a minute or two minutes with a partner nonstop. They'll get in better shape. They'll learn how to punch. They'll learn how to be punched. And it's all overall a much better experience for the students if you teach them how to match up and work together like we're going to. Let's take a look how long it takes that kid to kick, get back in the line, and then do his second kick. So here's kick one. Clock's ticking. Now imagine if he was doing this for a full minute. With one minute of this type of training, he gets two kicks off in 12 seconds. That means he gets less than five repetitions for one minute. Let's compare that to a student who's kicking the target one-on-one -on -one with an instructor. She averages 40 kicks in a one minute round. Then she switches and goes to the other side, I'm sure. This kid gets 10 kicks in a one minute round. It does not help him improve. It requires no conditioning. To, you're standing in line more than you're kicking. Standing in line is boring, of course it is. And he never gets to see a punch or a kick come at him. That is critical for defense. So the key is in teaching these target holders you have to set an expectation. This is what I want you to do. I want you to be a good partner. And think about it. When you're being that partner and you see those punches and kicks coming at you, you're programming your brain to see techniques come at you. So it really helps you to develop a good defense. You can guide the speed of a shot. You can guide the direction of a shot. You'll learn how little you have to move to get away from a shot. You'll never learn any of that standing in line waiting for your turn to kick the target or punch the target. So we're going to go through a couple combinations and drop a couple tips in. I hope you benefit from this. Here we go. Alexander has some training, but he's basically been <laughs> uh, tips here and there through the years. So take a step back, please. Number one tip. If he, re if he, if he jabs, he should not be able to reach the target. Without stepping, just jab, hold it out. He has to step in. So every skill, every combination has this four-part combination, four-part element. One, he steps in and fires, step fires. So that's one and two. Penetrate, engage, then he recovers the punch back to his head, then he clears. This is something most guys don't pay attention to. But in our classes, every time you fire, you do what, exactly what he just did. He cleared. Or, come back in, now he's going to clear again, but this time he's going to close the door behind him. And that means he's going to throw a jab on his way out so that it prevents, it makes it more difficult for me that I step into you, step out, clear out, and jab. It makes it more difficult for me to go back after them. I used to particularly love to do that when I had a guy that liked to counter hook or counter punch. I would attack and then I would clear with a front leg round kick just as he was throwing his punch. And every time I dropped so many guys with that, it was a blast. All right, the fourth part of the attack. So he's going to penetrate, fire, clear, and change positions. There we go. So always change the alignment. So he's not going right back to where he started. He's going to force me to make an adjustment. One more time. So penetrate, fire, clear, change position. There. Now it forces me to move. So he is in control of that exchange. Every combination. Every combination. Drill that in. Next. He's going to hold this hand a little away from his face. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how much does this hurt? I'm going to do two in a row. One. And then come in tight. Now it's touching his head. Number one was how much? Ten. <laughs> Number two was how much? Five. Five. So it's having that guard, whether it's your hand on your face, a glove on your head, in tight so it's not a double hit. One, two versus absorbing it right there. That's number one. Number two is that we want to always fire from movement. So we're not just standing here 
and then stepping in. It's always moving, adjusting, and bang. With your target holders, make sure that, they, especially the kids, prepare them for the combination. All right, gang, we're going to do one, one, two. It's going to be one, one, two. One, one, two. And then occasionally, I'm going to say defense. I'm going to want you to come in and sweep hook punches at your opponent. All right, so we're going to go one, one, two, and then I'll say defense. And you do the one, one, two on your own. So your partner's going to one, uh, he's going to be moving around. One, one, two. Clear. Change position. Penetrate. One, one, two. <laughs> one, one, two. Clear. Change position. So that every time that happens, and they're always moving in relationship with each other. That's part of your job as a fighter is to get into relationship with your opponent. So here we go. On your own, I'm not going to call out 112. On your own, you fire 112 at your pace. Penetrate, clear, change position. Let's go. Good. Good. Should breathe out. Okay. Crossing our legs a little bit here. So you've got to go to the right and the left. So you just went continually to the left. So you ended up doing that. So it's back, back and forth. Boom. Drop that right hand in hard. Defense! Defense! <laughs> there you go. All right. So, one, one, two, three. Here we go. One, one, two, three. Now, cadence is important. On a one, one, two, it's typically one, one, two, because you only want to sit down the thing. On a one, two, three, we're just going to one, two, three. One, two, three. Because the hand has, the body's got longer to turn, so it's a one, two, three. Bang, bang, bang. And then as you get more advanced, you can go bang, bang downstairs as well. All right, so let's try that one slow. One, two, three, two, boom. All right, so torque that body, pow, and sit down that punch. Okay, on your own, one, two, three. Notice I say the cadence like I want the cadence to be executed. One, two, three, go. Two, three, good. Hands high. Good, clear out, clear out, clear out. Notice I'm keeping him honest here. I'm moving with him. If he's not clearing out, he gets a reminder, especially when he's off balance when he clears. One, two, three. Good. There you go. That's it. Legs on you. Wow, oh, my fault. Three there. There. Good. 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 Is that fun? Is that more fun than standing in line waiting for your chance to go one, two, three? Thanks. And then run to the back of the line. I hope you will reconsider if you're doing that. I'm John Graydon. This is Alexander Graydon from Empower Kickboxing. Thank you.